the Maloti Drakensberg Park World Heritage Site. One of the largest World Heritage Sites recognized by UNESCO and the world. Close to 250,000 hectares in size, its height above sea level extends to 3,408 meters, the highest point in South Africa. Inscribed as a World Heritage Site in 2000 on the basis that it conserves and displays aspects of both culture and natural heritage that are of outstanding universal value. Meaning that the culture and the natural features are so exceptional that they are of outstanding value to the world, the present and the future generations of humanity everywhere. The Maloti Drakensberg Park World Heritage Site is recognized as a site of exceptional natural beauty. The undeveloped and intrinsically wild character of the area provides an outstanding opportunities to experience solitude and for spiritual renewal for people from all walks of life. More than a third of the country's proclaimed wilderness occurs within the Maluti Drakensberg Park World Heritage Site. These sites are biologically diverse, particularly the species and habitats. This large number of globally threatened and endemic species are found nowhere else in the world and are truly exceptional. The Ukoshamba Drakensberg region of mountains constitutes the principal water production area in South Africa and is thus critical to supporting both the people and the economy of the subcontinent. In recognition of its importance for water production, the entire park has been listed as a wetland of international importance. The value of its park water production will grow significantly in the future as the country experiences the effects of climate change. The site is recognized as a cultural landscape in that it displays the combined works of nature and man. The sand people lived in the Ukashamba Drakensberg Mountains for thousands of years leaving behind them in the numerous caves and rock shelters an exceptional concentration of rock art. The preserved rock art is the largest and most concentrated group of rock paintings in Southern Africa. Unique among cultural landscape, one can appreciate the fine paintings in the same environment with the same present animal species as the artists had experienced. The vision is for the outstanding universal value of the site to be protected forever and for the park to provide sustained and tangible benefits to the people. However, activities of man in the buffer zone surrounding the park have the potential to negatively impact the outstanding universal value of the park, threatening its status as a World Heritage Site. It is this interface which we need to manage for the benefit of the present and future generation and which if managed properly will provide sustainable jobs and economic development. The creation of the buffer zone is a practical and legal imperative. It is in our hands as to where this zone is drawn and what human activities should be encouraged or regulated within it. The buffer zone should be viewed as something positive, an area that can stimulate appropriate human activity whilst at the same time cushioning the park from those activities that might undermine it. All stakeholders share the responsibility to be part of the process and to be part of the solution.